Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andres here, and today I'm bringing you kind of uh, a tips and tricks on how to uh, not really fix Lion, but help you uh, have a better user-friendly experience with it. There are some features that I'm going to be showing you that you might like, and some of them you might not like, so hopefully I could either answer your questions about how to turn them off or how to turn them on. Um, I have five features. One of them only requires terminal. The other ones you can do by yourself without any um, quote-unquote hacking kind of thing. But first, go to System Preferences. This one's to uh, customize your system preferences. So you can go to View and then click Customize. And then you click the icons you don't really want in your system preferences. For example, I don't really have the others clicked because I don't really use them ever. So why even bother having them? Um, parental control also I don't really use it so why have it there it's not an icon I'm ever gonna click so I just kind of left the icons that I use a lot or not really a lot but I use often or that I want to use often just so I don't have to kind of go through a bunch of icons that I don't really use and it kind of makes my system preferences look smaller and cleaner with stuff that I don't really need so that's the first thing. Another thing that I've noticed uh, some people do not like is the quote unquote natural scrolling or inverse scrolling. Scrolling, excuse me, as some would say. Um, for example, I have a mouse uh, using it right now, so you can click on mouse. And it'll be the first thing point and click. You can uh, click it to turn it off or click it back on to turn it on. It's, the natural scrolling is just kind of like an iOS feel. It, I like it. I use it. I think it's cool. You some 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 people don't like it. Um, that's up to you. It depends if you like it or not. But for example, for the trackpad is actually this mi the middle one. As you can see, it says scroll and zoom. So first one, you can click it to turn it off. Click it back to turn it on. It's usually on, so you can just click it to turn it off. And if you don't like it, I would suggest trying it for a while. It does get kind of cool after a while. It's, I kind of like it. At first, I was a little iffy. It kind of confused me. And I go to work uh, during the week, and I use a PC at work. So my mind is fully crazy because when I get home, I try and use the same way I used it at work, and it doesn't really work since the scrolling is different. But I like it. I get used to it. Uh, you guys probably will, too, if you leave it. You might not like it, so no, it's up to you. Um, another thing is this thing that I noticed. I didn't really find this anywhere. You kind of just noticed this and thought it was kind of cool. I tried using it for a while. I ended up not liking it just because I, I'm kind of like a freak and I, I, I like to keep things closed like applications. I usually don't really have that many applications open. So I like to see which applications are open or not. So, But you, li you might like it. So uh, the indicator lights. Um, there's a way to turn them off to make it kind of look like iOS. So if you go to Dock and you click at the bottom one right here, Show Indicator Lights for Open Applications, when you uh, switch it off, you'll notice that none of the applications on the side right here um, have the indicator lights, which kind of gives you an iOS look kind of thing, just because I think it does just makes it... Because in iOS, you don't really know when an application is open. Only if you click the home button twice and then you see what's open or not. And I think this kind of makes it look cool just because it makes it look kind of clean and stuff like that. I liked it for a while. I thought it was kind of cool. But then I started noticing, like, oh, is this on or is it on? Is it not? So I had to click, like, clicking, like, oh, it's open. Okay, this one's not. I want to quit it. I'm kind of like a freak like that. So, it's, I mean, it's just me. Whatever. I leave them on. But you might not like it. You might want them off. I don't know. It's up to you. Just showing you something cool you might not know about. Um, another thing is the restoring windows a lot of people do not like this i personally don't like it because when i'm working on something and i close it i i meant to close it i don't want it open again i don't want to see it again for example using pages if i want to type something i'm done with that when i close it i don't want to see it again but i could see why people do like it if you want to keep opening the same file over and over again by just clicking something on your dock or something like that could come in handy some people might not like it. I prefer to just have the choice. If I want to open it again, I'll go and find it and open it. If I don't want to, I'll just click the icon 
no matter. Anyways, um, if you go to the number of recent items towards the bottom, you'll notice that there's a little tab down here. It's usually on. You usually see it when it's on. And this one just says restore windows when quitting and reopening apps. All you have to do is click it again and bam. No apps will open up again. Well, um, no apps will open up new windows or open up their latest window when you open them again. So when you open an app, it's going to be like if you never opened it before, which I like. Some people might. It's up to you. And um, the last thing that I'm going to be showing you, for example, is um, let me turn on terminal real quick. So yeah, just open up terminal real quick and is this feature where if you leave uh, a letter hold on for a while you'll see that it'll open up all this kind of like iOS feel when you leave um, if you have an iPhone or an iPod touch when you click a letter it'll give you uh, this other letters I guess you can say um, they're helpful if you want to type in Spanish or for example um, that's a letter in Spanish or like for like example E that's a letter in Spanish so I mean it could be useful if you're that type of person that wants to use letters like that sometimes but I don't really use that so when I click and I leave my letter clicked I want a bunch of A's I don't wanna give me the, f the feature of letting me choose I just want a bunch of A's I give me a bunch of A's so what you can do and um, this requires you to uh, use terminal. Some people might don't really like using terminal, but don't worry, this is not gonna mess you up. Um, for it on, you'll see that it says true. True means that yes, leave it on. I like it. False means that you want it off. So all you, this is in the description by the way, so you can just go over there and copy it, or you can just look at the video and copy it yourself. Uh, you can pause it and stuff like that. But anyways, copy, and all you have to do is paste in a terminal, press return or enter, and then you would have to uh, log out or turn off your computer or then log back in for it to uh, function. Because right now, if you I don't know if you can see, but it's still doing it. Even though I did terminal, you might be like, what? Well, it's not working, but it really is. You just have to log out and log back in. Obviously, I can't show you me logging out because then it will turn off my uh, my screen recording. But trust me, it works. Um, I'll probably record a little bit after I uh, turn it log back, log myself back on. But yeah, that's um, the code. And all you really have to do to turn it back on is just copy the true or if you have the false code just change false to true re put it over here in terminal click enter or return and it'll be back to normal after you log on and log back off obviously and um so yeah guys that's uh my five uh tips and tricks kind of thing for lion um i use when right when i got lion i usually uh I found these right away or looked for them right away just because there were features that I wanted to uh, make use of. For example, the natural scrolling, I wanted that on right away just because I was used to it. And the repeating letters, that kind of really annoyed me. I didn't really know it was on at first until I tried doing a bunch of A's and I noticed that it did that. So I tried and figured out how to turn that off. I didn't write this code, by the way, I found it on the website. So I will link that in the bottom. It does have other features on there that you might be interested in. So make sure you check out that website. It's kind of cool. I found other things that you might like. I only found this one useful just because of the other things that they have coding for. Uh, I don't really care about. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video, and I hope it helped you out. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything, just comment below. I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys. Um, if you want anything else, or if you have any other suggestions or anything, um, just comment. I'll try and get back to you. I'll try and answer your questions, stuff like that. Um, but thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, go check me out on Twitter. Subscribe if you want more stuff. And like the video. It does help out a lot. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.